Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm doing a makeup haul. I freaking love makeup hauls because new makeup and just talking about new makeup, <laughs> that's my life. So let's excuse the fact that my hands are like 10 shades actual lighter than my face. We're just going to have to get through that together. Let's get started. Oh my god, I'm so weird. Okay, so I want to start with the things that I got from Makeup Geek because I'm the most excited about that. I've used Makeup Geek eyeshadows in a few of my tutorials now, but I wanted to share it in this haul so I could kind of talk more about it. Um, so Makeup Geek actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted some of their stuff, and I was like, yes, are you kidding? Because I've heard so, so many people talk about Makeup Geek products. So I got my hands on them and I'm so excited to share them with you because these are the best products I've used in my whole entire life. Oh, I would buy every single thing here with my own money without a flop and doubt. So let's do this. The first thing I have here is the Z palette. So you buy the Z palette separately. I'm pretty sure it was around $20 or something. And then you get the eyeshadows. They're actually magnetic and you just like pop them in like that. So yeah, I have a bunch of eyeshadows here. These are the most pigmented, creamy eyeshadows I've ever, ever laid my eyes on. I'm pretty sure they're around $10, so they're so affordable. Everyone um, compares them to the MAC eyeshadows. I have only like two MAC eyeshadows, but from the eyeshadows I have in there from MAC, these shit all over the MAC products. Seriously. <laughs> these eyeshadows are so, so much better. I've never been so impressed. So the first two rows are just the normal eyeshadows and these two as well. And then all of these ones are the foiled eyeshadows. So all of them are extremely pigmented, especially the foiled ash especially the foiled eyeshadows. When you swatch them once, that is what you get. It is ridiculous. I remember I swatched them on my Twitter and I was like, dude, look at this. Okay, okay, just look at this for a second. This is the black right. I'm gonna put my finger in once. I need to shut up about these now. I also picked up some Makeup Geek blushes. I have these ones in the pan as well. Um, I'm going to add these into my Z palette. So I'll list the colors down below, but they're all really, really nice, very, very um, unique kind of colors. I don't have any like these. So I thought, why not add those to my collection? The next thing that I have here is the Stila One Step Correct um, Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Serum. So it has pink, purple, and green to counteract the kind of red in your face. So I thought I would pick this up and see if it would be any good. And so far, I'm liking it. I mean, I can never really tell if a primer works or not. So I guess I should try like one side of my face with primer and one side without. So then I can actually tell. I think that's what I'm going to do. Next thing we have here is the Hourglass Veil Mineralized. I'm sorry, that's not what it's called. The Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Okay, so this little boy right here was like $60 for this. I was like, mm, girl, I don't know if I should pay that much for this little tiny primer, but I did because so many people talk about it and I'm such a follower when it comes to makeup. I just buy whatever, what everyone else is buying and what everyone else says is good because obviously it's good. So yes, um, when I put this on my face, it looks like my face is glowing. It is so confusing. I don't really know if you're going to understand what I'm saying. We also have the MAC pigment in the shade Rose. This is a beautiful pink pigment that has like gold reflexes I think. I don't really know. When the light kind of changes it does change color a little bit. The thing that I don't like about the MAC pigments is that you get so much product. I wish it, would it was just like literally one third so you get like that much because I'm not going to use this whole thing in my whole entire life. Not even if I did every person's makeup on this planet. I'd probably still have half a tin left. <laughs> <laughs> right here we have the Stila eyeliners. I got the black one and then a gold one. What are these even called? <laughs> They're called Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliners. Um, this one is in the shade Gilded. That's a weird name. And this one is in the shade Stingray. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So they're both so, so pigmented and they do last a pretty long time. Um, I've only used the black one, but I can still say that this gold one is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, so pigmented. This is like a really nice metallic gold, so I'm impressed with that one. And the black one is just like a standard black eyeliner. I needed to get a new one because the one that I have now is like falling apart in shreds. So yeah, I got those, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have the Stila... Um, magnificent, oh my god, did I just say that? I did not. Magnificent Metal Eyes in the shade Kitten. This is a very metallic gold champagne color, and I have tried this once, and it was so, ch <laughs> I can't speak right now. It was really, really chunky when I tried to apply it on the eyes, so I do need to practice a bit more before I do a tutorial, because I'm just like all over the place with it. 
but it is really pretty and sparkly and glittery and yeah, I thought I'd add this to my collection because I don't have anything sparkly. And it also comes with like this formula that you mix with it. I also have two mascaras from Ico. I bought one of them and the other one was sent to me. So I bought the Fat Brush Mascara Big and Bold. And to be honest, I really, really do not like this. It doesn't add volume to my lashes. This is just a mascara that I would recommend for like school. Like you don't need a fancy mascara, just like a little bit to make them look a bit black and a tiny, tiny bit longer. So the brush is really fat and just, I don't know, it just doesn't work for my eyelashes. I guess if you have really thick eyelashes, this would work. But I've got like thin, short eyelashes, honey, and that's just not going to work. The next one is the I Do Mascara Lengthen and Strengthen by Ico. This is one of the best mascaras I've ever used. So I'm really happy that they actually sent me this one because otherwise I would have just been like standoffish with Ico. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this one. The wand is very different to a normal one. It looks really weird, but um, the formula is quite wet, so they're the kind of formulas I like to make my eyelashes kind of a little bit clumpy because I do have short lashes, and I do like them to be very, very long, and this is oh, amazing. We also have the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I already have one of these. This is a back cut one that they sent me and I was like, oh my god, yes, because I was going to have to buy a new one anyway because it is one of my favourite contour shades. It is just, oh, I scratched it. <laughs> There's a chunk out in there. <laughs> that sounded like a Peter Griffin laugh. <laughs> that laugh was so ugly. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, it's just the perfect shade. It doesn't look ashy or dirty or muddy on my face. It just makes my cheeks look really defined and sharp and boom. My camera's going flat. What a surprise. We also have the Sigma eyeshadow in the shade Topaz. I've never tried a Sigma eyeshadow. Oh, yes, I have. Silly. I've got the warm palette and I love that. So this is a really nice warm colour, it is matte, it has, I feel like it has a few shimmers throughout it, but when you swatch it, you can't see the shimmers, I'm quite confused, but um, yeah, I've always loved Sigma eyeshadows, so thank you Sigma. We also have the eyeshadow in the shade Shout, oh my god guys, look at that, that is the craziest, oh my god. God, that's pigmented. The craziest, brightest eyeshadow I've ever seen in my life. We also have, oh my gosh, my stomach just grumbled so loud. Courtney and I have like no food in the cupboard because we've been lazy and haven't gone shopping. <sighs> Moving on, I've got the Cheeky Powder Blush and this is in the shade Cheeky, my bad. This is a blush that reminds me a lot of Melba by MAC. I think lots of blushes remind me of that. Just because it's super universal, it can match like any skin tone. It's just like a nice warm pink color, a rosy warm pink. And I think those kind of blushes are the ones that you need at least one of. This is what I have on today. You can't really see it because I didn't put too much on. I've got the whole contour going on today. But yeah, I do love adding blush to the face just to add some warmth and some rosiness. And I just think it's really pretty and extremely pigmented and it blends nicely. The next thing we have is a gel eyeliner, and this is in the shade Liber mm. Liberally Toasted Standout Eyes. So, I've never used a Sigma gel eyeliner. This is a nice brown colour. Quite excited to use that, actually. I suck so bad at eyeliner, but I used a gel eyeliner for the first time in ages the other day, and it actually worked out so well. So, that's awesome that I've got that. Um, I've never said the word awesome. Well, I have, but not for a few years, and now I feel like we're going back to 2010. Um, we also have the Sig- I need to stop saying um. Are you guys getting annoyed with that? Because I'm getting so annoyed. Also, we have the Vivid Lip Lex Lip Gloss by Sigma. This is a very nice corally pink colour. I think this is perfect to add on top of lipstick to give a nice glossy finish to the look. Um, and it also is extremely pigmented, so you could definitely, definitely just use it on its own for like kind of an everyday lip gloss. I think that's quite pretty. Wait, does it smell? Come on, girlfriend. Give me some nice scent into this nostril. Oh, that smells like amazing. That absolute smell. My camera just died and I was telling you how nice this smelled. Rude. It smells really good, guys. Whoa. Okay, so the next thing I have here, I'm actually so excited to share with you guys because I love Zoeva and Zoeva brushes are my favorite brushes ever. So these are the roll, <laughs> these are the rose gold eyeshadow brushes. We have a bunch of eyeshadow brushes here and these are literally the only ones that I've been using. It basically has every single eyeshadow brush that you need in your whole entire life. We've got some eyeliner ones, we've got, um... Blending brushes, flat shader brushes, crease brushes, angled brushes, we've got it all, honey. It's all sorted for you. 
So if I could recommend any brush set to you, it would be this one. I love you, okay? Robin Hill. And um, the little bag that it comes with is very nice. I feel like this could be a really nice pencil case for school. If you guys are still in school, you can be like, yeah, bitch, I've got my Zoeva brush set here. Jokes, it's just pencils. Next thing I have is the nude... Do you hate when your lip, like, has skin peeling off it? I don't know if that's gross to say, but it happens to me all the time. The um, Balm Dude Volume 2 palette. So all of these colours are extremely gorgeous. My favourite one is Flirty and Feisty. I think they're stunning. Um, fit and fair. Oh, come on, they're all really nice colours. They're all very wearable and just neutrals. And I love me some neutral colours. These aren't as pigmented or as buttery as I say about every single eyeshadow. Um, they're not as pigmented as the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I feel like my standards are extremely high right now because... Ever since I touched them, I was like, mm, mm not using any other eyeshadows, girl. But yeah, these are really pretty colours. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this. Mm -hmm. Moving on to some lip products. I have the Balm Read My Lip Lip Glosses. I have two. And the first one is in the shade Wow, which is an extremely, extremely pigmented red colour. So I feel like this would be really nice if you had a red lipstick on. And you just like pop this over the top and you just have like an amazing red gloss. I mean, come on. That is so pigmented. And it smells... Ooh, hiccup. It smells absolute... <laughs> it smells absolutely to die for. Like seriously, that is so pigmented. What more can you ask for? I need to stop saying that word. Oh my god, I just got it on my finger. Help, help. The next one is in the shade Pop, which is a really nice coral colour. I think this is something that would be nice for like everyday wear, just to add some colour to your lips. So this again, oh no, I wouldn't say this is as pigmented. It's kind of a bit more sheer. So yes, definitely appropriate for everyday wear. The next thing we have is by Nude by Nature. Okay, I have a story about this. But first, let me show you the lipstick. This is a lipstick in the shade Chic. And I would say that this is like a pinky, mauve kind of nude colour. This is definitely like an everyday lipstick that I can see myself wearing. It smells like an absolute butthole, but that's just what you have to deal with these days with lipsticks because they all smell pretty bad. Okay, so I would say like three years ago when I was like 12. No. I was like 14 years old. Um, you know the advertisements that are on TV and like it was like a nude by nature advertisement on TV and it said just call this number and you get all this makeup for free and then you like we'll come and pick it up once you've finished it all. So here I was, hello I would like this free makeup and then three weeks later I called up and I was like hey can you come pick up the makeup now I've like finished trialing it out and you know you don't have to pay. So they didn't answer their phone so I got a message in the mailbox saying Shani Grumman has to pay $400 and if you don't pay this $400 in the next two weeks then you have to go to court. So I was like, I'm really sorry mum but actually I had no idea. I'm really sorry. So yeah, I've never really had the best relationship with the nude. Okay, so oh, we also have another thing from Sigma. Oh my bad. This is the Polished Inner Rim Brightener. So this is just a eyeliner. It's just like a, a nudie. Wait, you can't even see it because it's that nude. It's just like a skin colour basically. And I love these type of eyeliners to put on the waterline to make your eyes appear bigger. Yeah, girl. Love that shit. Oh, I shouldn't swear. Come on, Sean. I also have some eyeliners by The Balm. These are called Mr. Right Now. We have a flesh tone one, which as I said just before, I freaking love those ones to make your eyes appear bigger. These are very pigmented and they stay on for so long. So long. I swatched them on my hands and then I washed them and I'm like, dude, it's not coming off my hands. It was on for like another day and I was like, come on. Also have a brown color, a golden bronze and a black. Wait, is that black? Yeah, that's black. I will list the colours down below because I can't be bothered reading them out right now. Um, okay, this is... <laughs> I picked up the Real Techniques sponge, right? Because everyone uses it, right? Mm -hmm. So I put it under the water, it got a little bit fatter, tried to apply my makeup and my makeup just looked really patchy and it just didn't work for me. It just did not work for me, honey, so sorry about it. <laughs> oh my god, do you guys ever watch YouTubers and like their slang starts to rub off on you? I was watching, well I've been watching All Right Hey, his name's Matt, here on YouTube. I'll leave his link down below. He's freaking hilarious and he has like all of these words that he uses like honey and like, what was the other one? The one I just said, but now I forget what I said. 
Oh yeah, sorry about it. And then how he always does this dance move. But I'm like, yes, bitch. And he also says that. You know what I mean? Like you just watch people and then you like, it rubs off on you. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Because that helps me out so much. Honestly, guys, it really does. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.